Today we are making cranberry bread pudding. Now I'm really excited to make this because I've never made a bread pudding before. Thanks to Don Peterson from Yorkton for sending in this recipe. The ingredients that you're going to need today are one loaf of French bread. This is all chopped up one to two inches. Then you need four eggs, one and a quarter cup of sugar, you need one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, the zest from two lemons, two cups of half and half cream, you need two cups of milk, one cup of sweetened dried cranberries, and one cup of fresh or frozen cranberries cut in half. These were frozen and I just thawed them out and we cut them in half. First thing, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and I've done that already. Next, you want to take your loaf of French bread and chop the pieces up into one to two inch cubes. And I've already done that. You spread them evenly onto a baking sheet. This goes in the oven for 10 minutes. Halfway through the baking process, you want to flip them evenly so that they're browned evenly. Next step, you need to mix together your eggs, your sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, salt, and zest. You need to whisk in your cream and your milk. The 10 minutes are up and we have our toasted bread pieces right here. They look fantastic. All right, so now you want to decrease the temperature of your oven to 350 degrees. Next, you want to mix your bread pieces with your wet ingredients that are all whisked together and your dried cranberries. Then you let that mixture stand for 10 minutes so that the bread pieces soak up the liquid mixture. It's been 10 minutes and our bread has soaked up most of the liquid. Now you want to pour half of this bread mixture into a greased 9 by 13 pan. And then you're going to sprinkle half of your uh, cut up cranberries onto that mixture. Next, you want to basically repeat this step. You pour the rest of your bread mixture into the pan and then the rest of the cranberries on top, and then you want to bake it for one hour on 350 degrees. So it's been an hour and we're going to take our bread pudding out of the oven. I think that looks amazing. Now you want to do the knife test to make sure that it's all done. And then you serve it with vanilla ice cream if you'd like. After 10 to 15 minutes, you want to let it sit for a while. I think that came out pretty clean. I believe it's done. We have our bread pudding all ready to try. The vanilla ice cream is on top. Thank you so much to Dawn Peterson from Yorkton for this recipe. It's amazing. Thank you, Dawn. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Now you can get this recipe on my blog. Plus, I'm always interested to see what you're making this time of the year. So send me a recipe by emailing me, by Facebooking me, snail mail. Any of those options are perfect. You can even drop it off at GX94. Plus, you can see what's new with GX94 by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and our new GX94 app. All of these links are below. We make it easy for you. And you can subscribe to our YouTube page by clicking right here.